So, Ronan. Hello. You've got uh, some superpowers in the show, it seems. I believe so, so I've been told, yes. Uh, so, so what, uh, what kind of powers do you have? So I'm one of the four Gestalt siblings. So we are a hive mind, I suppose is the easiest way to explain it. So we're one being Gestalt split into four human bodies. And it's myself, Robert, there's Alex and Teddy who are identical twins, and Eliza, our sister. And, uh, so we can all share all thoughts, all physical sensations where needed, or, or, or we can choose not to when that's appropriate. And we can split ourselves across the entire planet and stay completely communicated and unified as one person. Did you grow up with brothers and sisters? I do have a little sister, yeah. Would you want her in your head? At all? Definitely not, no. She's too smart for me. So, <laughs> so uh, what was your approach to this character? Well, the first thing we wanted to do is to clarify what this power is. I mean, I mean, it's very clear in the book and in the scripts, but we wanted to make sure that uh, the three of us, the three actors, were all on the same page in terms of how we'd how we'd approach it and how we'd behave in certain ways because there has to be a certain overlap because we are the same we are the same individual although we are four uh, or three representations of that character so so that was got the kind of the fun bit of us all deciding what what attributes of Gestalt would be portrayed by each twin at various occasions if he's angry which twin is which twin is kind of uh, putting that out there or if it's a more insular scene and a more a more cagey atmosphere which uh, which of the siblings would be best suited for that and, and kind of developing it that way with our directors and our, and our writers. Did you pick up any bad habits from the other two? <laughs> Being late. <laughs> no, 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 it was all good. And then how was, uh, how was the show to work on? Uh, it's so good, you know. I, you know. I've been lucky enough to work on a few a few TV shows uh, for the States and, and this was really right up there with, in terms of the, the crew and the cast and the writers and the atmosphere on set was always positive which is such a massive, it's so important on a five month shoot or a six month shoot for everyone to get along so that you can not have to worry about any any outside distractions that you can just focus on the work and, and show up to work every day positive and, and, and focused and just delighted to be a part of something really cool. Yeah. Because I'm sure shooting in London, there's not shy of uh, many distractions to go around. <laughs> no, no, I've lived there for a while, so yeah. I'm well aware of those. So that was great for me to be able to go home after shooting every day. It was quite a rare thing to live in London and get to go home every day. So that's why I love that. Yeah. And then, did you show like Olivia or any uh, any outsiders, like something cool in London? Yeah, we did. Although Olivia actually showed us a couple of things. She oh, she rented a, a a tour bus, one of those open top tour buses, because her family was visiting, and we all. We all, a few of the cast, we joined her and we all piled on and we did a little tour of London, which I hadn't done since I'd moved there, you know, a decade ago. So it was amazing to see it, to see all these things again, swing by Buckingham Palace with a, with a fun tour guide. It's quite rare for a local to do that. So, uh, so no, it was great. It was great. Well, that's good to know. I'm going to let you go, Ronan. Pleasure to chat with you. Hey, Ronan, how are you?